Today we're gonna dive into the Terrain Library add-on from Casey Sheep, which is a 3D terrain asset collection featuring over 300 high-quality terrains across five categories. This library offers an impressive variety, including snowy peaks, rugged rock formations, rolling grass hills, desert dunes, and barren wastelands. And each category contains dozens of pre-sculpted terrain meshes, so you can mix and match pieces to design expansive landscapes. What's interesting is that no complex setup or extra plugins are needed, so simply drag and drop and start building breathtaking environments in just seconds, which is the point of having add-ons and asset libraries in the first place. Also, I have to mention that the assets are fully customizable too, meaning you can apply your own materials or textures for endless variety to have something that you actually like. The assets are neatly organized by category, including snow, rock, desert, etc. And you can filter or browse to find the type of terrain that you need. Also, the documentation provided shows a step-by-step -step guide on how to install and use the library. In my experience, it just takes a couple of minutes to set it up. Once in place, there is virtually no setup every time you want a terrain. Just drag and mash out and place it. A minor point to be aware of, the terrains import at a default small size, so you will likely need to scale them up to match real-world dimensions, and just keep that in mind. Each terrain mesh comes with detailed sculpting and accompanied maps that capture natural features, like erosion channels, sediment flow lines, and craggy outcrops. Out of the box, the terrains are intended for mid to background use in your scenes, and the library even states it is not meant for extreme close-ups, so keep that in mind, because at a very short range, you might start to notice resolution limits. However, some artists found that, with a few shader tweaks or high-res textures, the terrains can hold up even in the mid-ground or possibly the foreground of your shot, so it depends. The default materials included are basic, so for ultimate realism, you will likely swap your own PBR materials, which is exactly what the add-on encourages you to do. And given its flexibility, the terrain library opens up a lot of use cases for different 3D fields. For VFX artists and filmmakers, the add-on is a huge time saver. You can actually drop in a mountain range or canyon as a background for a live action shot or green screen scene. So instead of spending hours or days sculpting terrains from scratch, the terrains are great for matte painting or environment plates as well. You will get instant geometry that you can dress further with fog, matte elements, or particles to create a composite shot. In concept art and illustration, a 3D artist can kit bash these pieces to prototype environment ideas rapidly, then paint over the render for the final concept piece. Now let's talk about the value of the add-on and pricing. Terrain library is priced extremely affordably, given what it offers. The full version costs only $16 for more than 300 assets, which is an amazing price per piece ratio for a curated 3D library of this size. There is also a light option at $8 for 120 assets if you are on a tighter budget, though the full pack is a better deal. The Allen has only been out for a short time, but it has already earned 5-star ratings across the board, indicating the early adopters feel that it delivers excellent bang for the buck. And of course, no product is perfect for everyone. The main limitations to be aware of is that you don't expect it to be game ready or VFX ready for close-up shots. And if you want things to look better, you might want to invest a little bit of effort in scaling, blending seams, or applying custom textures to get the exact results that you want. But considering the low cost and the huge boost in creativity, I think these trade-offs are kind of minor. And there you have it guys. If you like the Terrain Library Asset Library, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to receive more news like this. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.